everybody. Thank you for joining me at Lori Houston Art. I am doing a flower pop today on a 12 by 36 inch canvas. I have push pins, I have my tape on the back and I have it propped in the center just with the um, part of the canvas wrapping. I am gonna go through and I've decided to paint my edges on this one. Um, so, the reason is, is because on the flower pops, they tend to require very, very thin paint. If I don't get it thin enough, um, I've just been noticing that these gallery wrap canvases, the edges, are, because the paint consistency and it's just Floetrol and water, these edges can be bare. So I don't always um, use gallery wrapped, I prefer the level two from Michaels, and then I just go ahead and I put them in frames. But anyway, this is gonna be a very long flower pot. So, I am not gonna jibber jabber for this part. Um, I'm gonna put some music on and um, speed through covering the edges and I will see you when we're getting ready to lay down the paints. See you there. cobalt blue on my edges. We're going to go through the colors. This is actually going to be the bottom. And these are hard to really get in full view, but I, I'll do my best to make sure you can see what I'm doing the whole time. We're going to go through the colors really quick because we have a lot to cover. Okay, we're starting with Grumbacher's cobalt blue hue. Same thing that I put on the edges of the canvas. The next color is going to be color shift, blue pastel or pastel blue with a squirt of golden, squirt of golden, cobalt blue. These two together, I'm gonna show you that. A Little bit thick, I keep adding water to it. Real pretty blue, okay. The next color is Amsterdam turquoise green, right here. You can see the consistency. Hope you can see that. Okay. I have some Artist Loft turquoise. And I have two piggies. I am using Tail Feather. And I did wet the pigments with GAC 100. And this is Tail Feather. Pretty color. You can see. And I'm doing uh, Lakeside. So Tail Feather and Lakeside. And here's Lakeside. And I'm actually drizzling those two in between the layers. We're gonna try that. I'm gonna swipe today with um, Modern Masters. Um, this one is Flash Blue. So it's a sheer and it's got a blue tin in it. We will see how that covers. And I really made it hmm, maybe a slight bit thinner than the, the paints. There's a lot of metallics in these paints, so I'm hoping that I got them thin enough. Um, I might have to tip a lot of paint off, we'll see. So I'm gonna start laying down the paints. Um, I'm gonna start with the uh, cobalt blue. This is the Grumbacher. And today I'm going to do it in lines. This is a large canvas, so I really planned on using all of it. I didn't realize though, I'd like having a little bit left over. It doesn't look like I'm going to on that one. This one I have a lot. This is the, the mixture. Um, and again, I, I've been kind of 
not having a lot of contrast, so I'm trying to get better with my colors. I, For some reason, I've been really sticking to similar color palettes, and then you don't have enough contrast. So this color tends to take over. So we will see what it does in, in this. And you know, we love, we love the metallics in these flower pops. They, they're just amazing. Both here and in the center, maybe a small line down here. Okay. All right, and we've got our piggies. Ooh, look at that lakeside. Oh my goodness. It's gonna be gorgeous. I love it. Okay, and then we've got tail feather. I'm putting up here, beautiful. Now tail feather, you have to use it in, with the right colors to get the benefit. I've heard some people say it's, you know, that not their favorite, but boy, when I've put it with the right colors, it's it's a showstopper, it really is. All right, I think that's good. I've got a little bit of these left. Move it aside. Um, I'm gonna move all my paints out of the way. Let's do that first. Um, we went over all of them, so. Okay, I will torch this out a little bit. This is perfect. I'm gonna move it some. Um, I'm, I might not mix it together. I don't know if I should or not. Let's just see what we get. And kind of move it this way. There we go. This way. There we go. This way. Okay, awesome. All right, we're going to pour the swipe line. However, I'm gonna put it here, pretty heavy. Whoop, that was a boo-boo right there. You don't wanna do that. And then I think I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna drizzle this on so that the swipe line, it's going to get very light down at the bottom. So I'm gonna kind of put a thin line throughout so we have some of this color in it. And again, I'm gonna really load this line. Now, we have to decide, what do we wanna do? Do we want to um, get the paper towel and pull the paint? Or do we wanna use plastic and have it be, um, use plastic and let it be surface. So I think I'm gonna do plastic. So I've decided to do plastic. This is hard to swipe this way. I, I don't even care if I get paint on me today. So here we go. We're gonna set it in. I really want this to be a nice even pull. So I'm gonna go slow as much as I can. I'm just gonna keep pulling. It doesn't look like it's gonna be perfect, but it's definitely pretty. Let's lift it up. Lift it up, because we're coming up on some of that. Lift it up. Again, lift, lift. Down, left, kind of move with it. Oh, okay. I'm almost to the end here. Okay. And then I just like to rub that on the end. Not bad. Oh, gosh, it's. Seems like it would be easier as many as these that I do, but it's still so nerve wracking. Just 
wiping this off so I can reuse it. There we go. All right, guys, so I am gonna do a little bit of this edge up here. Gotta have a little bit, because we're gonna rock it just a bit. Okay, all right, there we go. Move it down, we're gonna rock it up just a little bit. There we go. Tip it up and let it run. Just, it's not about, um, it's just giving it a more, a better look at the end, a bottom of the canvas. Hmm, beautiful. Okay, kind of looks like snow down there. Very dreamy. So I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna blow the bottom, if you can see. Um, let me put some gloves back on and I don't know, I'm just going to play around with the bottom a little bit. I don't know how much depth these flowers are going to have um, or how that iridescent or that flash blue is going to dry. But let's move this up and I'm going to blow this bottom white line. Kind of make it wispy. Love that. Okay. And let me fold this over just a little. There we go. Oh, I love it. Beautiful. Make that kind of like a, just a bottom, a uh, different type of look down there. Kind of maybe frosty like the waves. All right, now we're gonna do um, a vine. I always start in this corner. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna start and do the vine the opposite way. I seem to always do the same way. I don't know if it's because I'm comfortable with it, but we're going to start and I'm gonna use black. Um, and I am actually taking a huge, I'm gonna bring it over. I'm actually taking a big risk today because I am using um, Blick Black. I've never used it for the flower pop. Here it is. I'm, like I said, big risk to be using something on this large canvas and no experimenting with it. Um, I just don't feel like I have time to experiment like I'd like to. So I'm going to put some down here. And I am going to get my favorite um, tool for my stems and I'll be right back. Um, before I start the stem, I think I'm gonna do a cluster of flowers. I'm gonna test it out and see um, how it goes. So we're gonna start up here and I'm actually gonna do a very large flower. Um, I'm gonna use my straw for this one to start. Here we go. I want a really big petals. Okay, I love that. That's pretty. Definitely pretty. All right, so we will put our flower here. We're going to make, we're just going to go through and do the flowers. Pretty, 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 pretty. And I might do a cluster. So I'm gonna do one here and here. Looks like Blick's working pretty good, but we'll see. Remember how in my last flower pop it spread? Hopefully that doesn't happen with this. All right, so here we go. Oh, I love it. That's pretty. Okay. All right. We're going to do another one here. Single. Tiny. Tiny. Tiny singles. Are you ready? All 
Okay, I like that. I gotta think about how I wanna connect these flowers. I think we should have one more here. I'm gonna make it kind of like it's just a different flower, you know? I'm sure you're sick of seeing the same flowers, right? So let's give it a different look. All right, I think, um, I don't know, I think I'm gonna use Puffy. Let's grab good old Puff. All right, here we go. Just again, trying to determine, I wanna make a, a really clustery, viney looking flower. I don't know if I should come in here. Hmm, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna play, even though I like this one and I don't like when I play. Let's, huh, hmm, keep going. All right, let's see. I think I will do a small one here small one here. I've never really closed up the gap before. Let's try it. Okay. So far I'm loving the blick in this. little flowers everywhere down the vine and just keep keep it going try to keep the same amount of paint helps with the symmetrical I see tail feather <laughs> that's funny Beautiful. I think I'm just gonna follow that all the way without the stem and see what I can do. I'm gonna go here. Okay. Beautiful here. It's not spreading yet. If it does, we're in trouble because the flowers are so close together. So say a prayer that they don't, um, yeah. Beautiful. I think what I'm going to do is create um,
Hi guys okay this is a very very long video as you can see there's been a lot of planning um, when I have something that I love and I am in love with this flower pop I take a lot of time thinking and trying to get the composition right so I know I did not speed through the first flower because it was so unique so I think what I'm going to do is um, I am going to speed through this second flower and I'm going to see you at the end result so that I don't um, make this an extra long video. I will see you there. Get there our own way. Thistle and an apple tree. How different two souls can be. But we both grow from the same sorrow. If we both know we'll be together tomorrow, I can be like a tree. But I can bend Turning to understand And sway together We will go down for a close-up I absolutely love These flowers I'm fine There's flower number one How do you think this flash blue is gonna dry. Here's the second one. Oh my God. So beautiful, go all the way around. There's where I kind of blew the bottom to make it kind of wispy. I love it. See if I can get the whole thing in, in view. And we're gonna come down. Oh, please dry well. I am just in love. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting to have found Blick. Um, look how Blick, the paint is keeping all of the stems in place. They're not spreading, um, just amazing. And I have to tell you, you can see, I'm gonna show you, if you can see there, that is tail feather and it goes very well with that um, Amsterdam turquoise so like I said you've got to use the colors correctly and the lakeside I saw one right here this flower here you can see the lakeside popping out look at look at tail feather in that one. Oh my gosh all right this piggy's going to the market for sure. Oh my gosh. And there's the bottom. I just kind of blew that around 
just kind of wanting to make it more of a beachy type flower. I don't know. I'm in love. Okay, let me know what you think in the comments below. I, If you agree to disagree, I think this is one of my best flower pops. I'd love to hear what you think. Um, I'm going to think of a cool name, hopefully by the time this video comes out. And I am going to be sure to show you the dried results. See you there. Thank mm -hmm. you.